Hey guys, Hackersploit here and back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at Tails OS. Now a lot of you guys have been requesting this and uh, here it is. So uh, let's get started. Um, Tails OS is basically, uh, as I will show you right now, is a secure operating system. So what we can do is we, we can just Google search Tails OS like so and uh, hopefully it's going to return a result. Uh, oh wow, my internet is looks like it's not really working. Oh there we are. Sorry about that. Um, it's really, really slow today. Um, looks like I'm going to have to sort that out. I really don't know what the issue is, but really, really sorry for this. All right. So basically, Tails, uh, privacy for anyone, anywhere. Now, this is most popular for the fact that it comes pre-installed with the uh, Tor browser bundle, and it also uses Onion circuits. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, t uh, technically speaking, uh, the, the whole operating system all connections made to the internet go through the Tor relay. So, for example, if you, if you add a, like a weather widget, um, since it is a Linux distro, that information would actually go through the Tor uh, the Tor network, uh, and basically through the Tor circuit, it'll go through the first Tor node onto the second random one, the third random one, and finally to the exit node, which will then connect to the internet. But enough of that. So basically, uh, Tails is a live operating system as it says here that you can start on almost any computer from a dvd usb stick or sd card now let me explain what a live operating system is well a live operating system is means it does not need an install so you don't need to install anything you basically plug it in as it says using a dvd usb stick or sd card uh, a dvd would be quite a foolish thing to do for the simple fact that uh, tails will basically wipe wipe itself once it, once you're done browsing so for example if i installed tail on tails on a usb flash drive and i basically booted it up and i was using tails once i'm done i basically turn uh, tails off and once it turns off it basically wipes everything off the flash drive so that's why they call it a very very uh, it's a very secure and, uh, and privacy oriented operating system so as it says over here it aims at pre preserving your privacy and anonymity and helps you to a use the internet anonymous, anonymously and circumvent censorship all connections to the internet are forced to go through the tone network it leaves no trace on the computer you you are using unless you ask it to explicitly so you can ask it not to wipe uh, not to wipe your system but that would just basically defeat the purpose since what this operating system this is what it's about it uses state-of-the-art cryptographic tools to encrypt your files emails and instant messaging so it has pgp and all of that good stuff so it's really very simple. You just have to hit install Tails right here uh, to get started. And uh, again, sorry for my in my slow internet today. And it's going to say, uh, thank you for your interest in Tails. Let's start the journey. Um, basically, you have to download Tails through uh, Torrent, I believe. So just hit Windows. That's the operating system we're going to be installing it from. If you're using any of the others, be sure to check them out. We're going to say install from Windows since we are installing it fresh. We are not updating Tails. Uh, don't worry about what it says, uh, the, the, whether you need two USB sticks and two hours. That's all That's all a bunch of nonsense. Uh, just hit let's go and uh, we should actually, it should actually take us to the download section. All right, so it's going to say download it via BitTorrent and uh, it basically works on 32-bit and 64-bit. So it's about one gigabyte in size. Uh, I actually downloaded it and uh, basically it's going to tell you in, in terms of installing it, you're going to need the U universal USB installer, which is basically when you want to install it on a USB flash disk, which I'll show you right now in case that's the route you want to go. Um, so just let that open up and you can download that file. It's about 1.7 megabytes. That's going to take a while. So uh, basically you can install it on your flash drive. And uh, what I'm going to be showing you is uh, my personal favorite way of running this operating system. And that's through a virtual machine. So I'm going to be using VMware Workstation 12 player. Let me just open that while uh, this universal USB installer is still downloading. Again, really, really sorry about my slow internet today. I really don't know what the problem is. So basically, I already have one setup here, but I'm going to take you through the, the setup uh, from the beginning. So I'm, say, I'm going to say create a new virtual machine and I'm going to say install a disk ISO. So I'm going to browse for my ISO file, which is on my desktop. It's here, yeah, Tails i386 2.12. That's the latest version as of this recording. 
and I'm going to select the ISO file. Once I select the ISO file, it's going to give you an error. Could not detect which operating system is in this disk image file. Don't worry about that. Just ignore that. We're going to hit next and it's going to say guest operating system. Of course, it's Linux. And uh, you can just select other Linux uh, 2.6 kernel, either 64 bit or 32 bit, depending on what architecture your computer is running. I'm going to hit next. Basically, where, where you want to save the files. Um, I want, I'll, I usually save mine in my own folder, the virtual OS folder. And um, you really don't need any files. Whoops. Uh, one second. Uh, you can save it anywhere. I'm just going to save mine uh, in Tails uh, Test. Let's just call it Tails Test. You can name your folder whatever you want and you can give it a name. So I'm going to give mine um, Tails OS Test. Uh, it doesn't matter if, if it looks really bad, but th that's what I want to call it. Anyway, uh, once you've hit, uh, once you've selected your location for the files and your name for the virtual machine, hit next. It's going to ask you um, what's the size of the disk that you want to give it basically for storage to act as a, a virtual hard drive. I really am not going to use anything. I usually give about two gigabytes in case I'm downloading files, most probably from the deep web or the dark net. So basically, this is all dependent on you how much space you want in case you will be downloading files. I want to store it as a virtual disk as a single file. I'm going to hit next. And I'm going to say customize hardware. Now, this is basically, this comes down to personal preference and what your computer can handle. I usually find about two gigabytes enough for, um, for Tails OS because it's basically focused on browsing. For processors, I have four cores. So I'll just give it two, two cores to use. And that's basically it. Just hit close and finish. And finally, we can get started. Since it requires no installation, this should be really, really quick. So let's play it. And uh, let's go. Uh, by the way, if you're using VirtualBox, it should be pretty, uh, pretty much be the sim uh, the same thing. So just let it auto start Tails. Uh, it's going to auto start it. You really don't need to press anything, or if you're in a hurry, press the Enter key. All right, so it it, it should actually just start really, really quickly. Um, and uh, just let's give it a few seconds. Uh, by the way, guys, um, I forgot to mention this. Uh, the deep web uh, browsing or the darknet browsing episode is going to be coming every weekend, uh, Friday or Saturday, depending on when you guys are comfortable. So leave uh, down in the comment section what which date is more comfortable for you. I then want you to leave uh, to basically send me a tweet on Twitter, basically uh, giving me ideas for what type of websites you want me to visit. Uh, on the deep web, uh, but I'm not going to get too much into that right now. Uh, let's actually just focus on Tails OS right now. So uh, just give it a few seconds. If it gives you this weird little pause uh, or this frozen uh, little uh, loading menu, don't worry about that. It should just get started immediately. All right. So I know I'm in once I see this blue screen. So it's going to say welcome to Tails. Ah, Tails is uh, very, very simple, as you can see. Um, it's going to ask you whether you want more options. I'm going to hit yes, and I'm going to show you um, what options are um, in, in um, included. So let's hit forward. It's going to ask you for an administrator password. This is basically your pseudo password or for root. I'm not going to be using root on this distro because I'm not going to be performing anything serious, really. It's going to ask you for MAC address spoofing. This is a really, really, really cool feature that they've included here, where they allow you to spoof your MAC addresses to hide the serial number of your network cards. I already discussed this use uh, in the MAC changer video. By the way, the it should uh, the link to that video should come uh, uh, on up. Um, it should be up on your screen right now, anytime. So basically, it's going to spoof your MAC addresses for your network card, for your network card. And basically, that will just trick your geographical location. So I'm going to keep that on. Make sure it's grayed out. And network configuration. This is basically all to do with Tor. Uh, it's going to ask you whether your computer's internet connection is clear of obstacles. If it is, make sure you check this. If, it's, if you're going through proxies, for example, if you're running this on your school computer or at your, at your office, for example, um, just hit this one right here. But I'm using a direct connection I'm go and I'm guessing that's what you guys are using too. So I'm going to hit login once you've selected all your options. Uh, again, you could have chosen your own uh, administrator password, but I really don't. Um, 
so just let it start up it shouldn't take too much time and uh, we have to actually sort out this resolution which i'll show you how to do in a short uh, amount of time we're just waiting for this to load up all right so there we are so immediately once you start the operating system it's going to be very very simple and it's going to tell you that it's synchronizing the clock now uh, let's start off with firstly uh, changing our resolution so uh, what i'm going to go is into system tools and uh, we're going to go into settings give that a few seconds uh, to start up it shouldn't take that long all right so we're going to go into hardware and displays and we're going to select a, your display mine is just called unknown display and i'm going to select a comfortable resolution for myself i think this would be fine for me it's going to obviously crop to the aspect ratio i'm going to keep the changes and uh, let's get started on uh, basically reviewing a uh, tails os so uh, starting off you'll notice that it's a very very simple linux distro and it's very user in intuitive uh, from the from the simple fact that if you're coming from Windows or Mac OS, this will feel right at home because you have your application launcher here, which you basically acts as your start menu for those uh, more accustomed to Windows. Uh, you then have your places, which is basically your file explorer where you can just open your computer. That's going to show you all the files there. You can access your downloads, your documents, music, videos, etc., etc. Now. Um, I think most of you will really, really be uh, paying attention to the fact that this comes, um, it comes integrated with the Tor browser. So let's actually get started with that right now. You're going to notice this very little cute onion logo right here. And this basically are onion circuits. And these are the onion circuits that are basically integrated. And I'm going to show you that uh, what, what, which ones are currently active. So as you can see right now, we have this one right here, which uh, this IP address is through the uh, United States. Basically, this will give you information about what um, what nodes are currently running and the bandwidth that they are operating at. So you basically, we have this one right now in Panama, which is running at a very, very nice speed of 148 megabits per second. Uh, but I'll get in, I'll get to this uh, in a few seconds. So if we basically check the Tor browser, uh, before we actually go into the Tor browser, you'll notice that you can perform a variety of other tasks on this. It's like a full, fully functional distro. You can basically browse the internet. You can perform uh, um, basically image manipulation with GIMP. GIMP is there, so that's pretty awesome. You have Office, um, you have LibreOffice or LibreOffice. That's pretty cool. You have your programming packages, just one ID, poor edit, which is basically a very very uh, simple text editor you have your sound and video audacity is included you have pit v which is a screen recorder and video editor pretty cool stuff sound recorders and you have your tails um, documentation right here you, so basically let's go into favorites and tor browser which is what you've come here to do so straight out of the box it should just start up immediately without any hitches uh, granted that this uh, this distro is basically designed uh, to work fully with Tor, it's taking quite a, uh, an awful lot of time. This should just be the first time you start this. Again, if you're if you're running this on a virtual machine, I would recommend that because you're really if if you're running this, it would only make sense to use a USB flash drive if you were um, if you're basically running this on a computer that's not yours, right? So uh, it's basically, whoa, 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 all right. Uh, let me just enlarge that. Um, so it's basically going to open the default tails. Um, whoops, I got a comment over there. Excuse me. Ooh, sorry about that, guys. Um, so basically, uh, it's, um, it's going to open the tails browser, but we want to check whether Tor is working. So to do that, we're going to basically hit check dot uh, Tor project.org uh, and this is basically going to check whether we're connected to the Tor network and indeed I think we are because this onion is uh, basically showing a clear logo if it doesn't show a clear logo that means it's still synchronizing and we'll, we'll take uh, it, you basically have to wait for that to synchronize all the nodes uh, so just give that a bit of time and it should start up depending on what uh, on what node you're using so just give that time. All right. So basically, I can see some activity here in the uh, the Tor onions, in the onion circuits. So ooh, I don't know why that's giving me that. Um, let's just hit that again. Check dot Tor project. I don't know why it's 
uh, basically re referring me to the W2 website. Um, hmm, that's weird. All right, so we can basically just test this by running an onion site. So firstly, uh, let's forbid scripts. That's always good practice here. Now let's check for the hidden wiki. Uh, and by default, um, Tor is basically gonna use uh, DuckDuckGo as the search engine. So let's just uh, let's just search for the hidden wiki. So there we are. It's uh, it's using non JavaScript site. That's always a good precaution to have. I know this video is taking longer than usual, but uh, let's just make sure that it's everything's working. Basically, this is what this operating system is targeted at. Um, as you can see, it not, it doesn't come with a lot of tools pre-installed, but it comes with enough to get you by whatever you're trying to do. Again, really, really sorry for my internet connection here. Uh, I don't know why it's taking so long. This is really, really agonizing for me right now. So basically, let's open the hidden wiki. Um, let's find the hidden wiki.org. Um, hopefully it gives us. All right. So we have an onion site here, right here, as you can see dot onion site hopefully it loads up and basically proves that we're connected to the tor network uh yeah there we are so this is an onion site and uh, there you are basically this is what tails is all about it's a very very simple operating system that will basically give you tor straight out of the box and this has been a very basic overview of the operating system but that's basically what it can do i'm not really taking anything away from it and yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. If you like this video, uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any comments or suggestions or any questions, let me know in the social on my social networks or in the comment section below, or you can hit me up on Kick. By the way, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Uh, the link will be in the description section. That's where I update on all my latest video ideas. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace.